All right, so our first drawing that we're working on is the Antheridia 4. So that is the male uh, organ that holds the Antheridia and then the sperm within that. Um, and so what we want to do is just make sure we show in our drawings the Antheridia 4, the Antheridium, and the sperm. So I'm going to kind of draw that with our flattened, our flattened umbrella. So that's kind of the surface of our antheridium. And then kind of uh, goes up like this. And that is the overall uh, shape of that structure. Um, so that is the antheridia for And down there that we can't see right now, that would be where the thallus is and the rest of the gametophyte. And then we have kind of areas that come in here and they're open. And within those open spaces are where the antheridia are going to develop. And the antheridia are where um, the sperm will eventually form. So most of our antheridia are going to have a, a stalk there, and then a layer of sterile cells, and then within that we are going to have sperm developing. And again, this is just a specialization event because everything that you're seeing in this image, it's all haploid. Okay. Um, and so these cells will just um, divide up, create, and eventually, right, these are going to be those flagellated sperm cells once they're released. So we have our sperm. And then again that sterile layer of cells, that's the antheridia. Or antheridium for singular. I'm going to add a little bit of color. All right, so I added a little bit of color. And the last thing that we need to know is what's diploid and what's haploid. And I've already mentioned a couple of times that everything in this picture is haploid. So the antheridium is haploid, the sperm are haploid, and the entire antheridia 4 is haploid.